friends, this is Miss Yamande. I thought today we can try to make some Play-Doh together. So if you have these two ingredients at home, you can try to make it with your family. Cornstarch and any kind of conditioner. What we're gonna need is one cup of cornstarch and a half of cup of conditioner. So let's mix them together. And let's see what happens. So just follow me. So we're gonna mix. I'm mixing. Mixing. See, now I've mixed it. Now you're gonna use your hand to knead it together, okay? Kind of knead it like you're making dough. Okay, let's knead it. Okay, this is not like a precise recipe. You might have to tweak it a little because right now it's feeling a little sticky. I am going to continue to knead it, but I may need to add just a little bit more cornstarch to it. But I like the consistency. Like if it's too sticky for you, you might need to add a little bit more cornstarch. But right now, I don't feel like I need to. The consistency is great. You can use this as Play-Doh. And after, you can see, put it in Ziploc bags to keep it, to maintain it. But as you can see, we now have a great Play-Doh. Let me try to get some of this other excess off of my hands and onto the ball. Right? But... Here's the consistency of the Play-Doh that we made. And it's a fun experience that you can have. You can add glitter to it. If you wanted to dye it and you had food coloring at home, you can add it. But what you can see, you can move it, mold it. It's so much fun. I am going to continue to do this so I can get the excess Play-Doh off of my fingers. Because that happened during making it. But as you can see, it turned out great. You feel it feel you can mold it it is an excellent way to have fun you can cut it use it to cut out letters make your name and i hope you're practicing writing your name and spelling your name at home and once again like i said thank you for joining me and remember it is always a good day to have a good day bye friends